My friend tried to tell me that root beer is not a soda. He was serious. That sounds stupid. Why would you even compare root beer to sodas? Root beer is not a soda. Dude. <laughs> root beer is a soda. <laughs> Come on, man. What are you, 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 Discord mod, huh? Using Discord, don't think root beer is a soda? Trying to convince yourself it's healthier, huh? I can see that Matt probably flunked his high school grammar class. Ah, yes. Matt Walsh. Nobody has pronouns. You can't have a pronoun any more than you have a preposition or an adverb. The concept doesn't make any sense. Pronouns are not things you can own. They aren't pets or accessories. They are parts of speech. That's it. You don't get to customize them. Well, Matt Walsh, you are an idiot. You are stupid. All right, so if soda plus soda plus soda equals 30, that would mean that they're all 10, because there's three of them, but soda plus burger plus burger is 20. I mean, two burgers is, is five each 10 plus 10, established earlier. A burger and two fries. Oh, two sets of two fries is nine. That would mean that burger plus one fry times 10 equals 15, because PEMDAS one times 10 is 10 plus five is 15. But this person on Twitter, the last one is wrong. It is five plus one times 10 equals 60. You missed the X. No, you missed the equation. You missed math class. You missed PEMDAS. Figure it out. Solar power draws heat to the Earth's surface. It's funny to me how the people who scream global warming and climate change also want to plow down hundreds of acres of trees and forests to put up solar panel fields that do what? Draw more heat to the Earth's surface. I have no problem with keeping our planet cleaner and picking up trash out of the water when I'm on my boat and things like that. But there's no way you can tell me that cutting down trees and putting up fields of solar panels at high costs are going to be taken down in 25 years at the end of life are somehow better for the environment. Bro does not know what solar means. Also, I think it's so funny that the name was blurred out, but not their political stance. You could have blurred it and you still would be able to tell that they're stupid and they're a conservative. Ah, me and my mate were laughing about how the donuts were cheaper if you buy less and the lady serving overheard us to correct us saying it was a great deal and you save money buying more. Like, huh, no, it's only a few pence, but still. Okay, <laughs> so do the math here. If you pay four pounds 50, you get five donuts. That's great, awesome. If you pay seven pounds, you get eight donuts. It basically is, it's pretty close, but it adds up to the first deal, you're paying 90 cents for each of the five donuts versus the other one, you are paying 86 cents for eight donuts. So do the math, man, it's close. <laughs> but you save more. You, you're, you're wrong. You're wrong. You're stupid and you're wrong. Why y'all aren't changing your tampon every time you pee? So nasty. Can't believe this is even a discussion. I don't understand. If you don't remove the tampon, how does the pee get out? There should be no debate, Lamau. Pee is absorbed just like blood, leaving no room for future blood to be absorbed. I am not knowledgeable enough to comment on the situation of tampons. So while I agree that this is, is wrong, I'm not going to add any more to the situation. Not understanding striking isn't quitting. Quitting is not the same as striking. They can quit if they want. No, they can't. Why can't they quit their job? That would be a strike. No, striking is not working, but still being employed and trying to get better work environment and benefits and stuff like that. Once the strike ends, you go back to work. That's how a strike works. Have you seen that one episode of SpongeBob? That's a bad analogy. Mr. Krabs fires them. <laughs> Oops. Bull simply means male and cow simply means female, homie. Close, but no cigar. Cow is the animal. Bill is the male. Heifer, the female. What if it's not named Bill? <laughs> a cow is a female of the species. A heifer is a cow that is not given birth. There is 8 billion acres of land in Alaska, folks. There are currently over 8 billion people in the world. We are far past the beat fruitful and multiply logic. I'm thankful people are now averse to procreation for procreation's sake. Go about your adulting, unbothered, good person, we're fine, you're fine, be happy. This is dumb. There's as many people in the world that we could give each person a one acre plot of land in Alaska and be nowhere else. There isn't too many people. You are a stupid person through and through. Alaska has eight billion acres. It's so true, guys. This person said so. The person with seven down votes. They're not the same thing. Wait until you find out that Great Britain and the UK are not the same thing. Maybe you don't realize that the country is called the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. It's shortened to UK or GB. I think what you mean is wait until you find out that the UK or GB and England are not the same thing. You, you, really? 
You wanna you wanna go there? Really? Okay. You have fun there, buddy. I've lived 53 years without needing my insurance, so they have to be useless and no one needs any. Nobody really needs legal or content insurance. I'm 53 and have done really well without both of them. As far as legal insurance goes, just stay out of trouble and don't go to court cases, you can't win. Two, as for content insurance, just don't try and live beyond your means. If you have your own home or apartment, build in a safe neighborhood and invest in good doors and windows. If local law requires you to have content insurance, well then you need one, but I've never had one. Hey guys, this very specific situation has happened to this guy. Therefore, in his mind, it is the exact same situation as every single other 8 billion people on earth. Did you know that? Isn't that crazy? How everyone has the, the exact same situation and no one's lives are any different to the point where uh, nobody needs legal insurance? What an idiot. Unclear whether the angled eggs were right, obtuse, or acute. Making my famous yellow pocket angle eggs. I call them things angle eggs because I refuse to give the deceiver no praise and rebuke him. As for me and my household, we serve the Lord. The secret is Lowry's seasoned salt and a drop of vanilla extract and capers. You are putting vanilla extract in your deviled eggs? You are not invited to any sort of party that I'm hosting. Because if you bring those, I'm going to kick you out. I'm part of that 1% that voted stray. One vote doesn't count as 1%. Read it again and embarrass yourself. <sighs> yes, not he is the 1% that voted for stray. He's part of it. So please read and please get off the internet. Go read a book. Most toothpastes contain sugar and dentists give it to us and make us scrub our teeth with sugar. I don't know of any dentist that gives out sugary treats as prizes. Toothpaste. Most toothpastes have sugar and the dentist will give it to you and tell you to scrub it into your teeth and gums. Crazy, huh? I think a simple Google search might prove you wrong. Toothpaste flavors typically come from sweetening agents such as saccharin or sorbitol. Although these ingredients may taste sweet, toothpaste doesn't contain sugar. It is from the Colgate website, so source might be biased, but I am inclined to believe. <laughs> you know, it just is, it, it, it makes sense. Mexico is in North America? Hardly. Yeah, it is part of North America. You know, we are Canada, United States, and Mexico, North America. C I, I probably can't, I probably can't say that. You guys are probably going to censor me saying C C Afrikaans isn't a language? How to say I can speak Afrikaans now in Afrikaans? Educate yourself. Afrikaans isn't a language. It seems like you're asking how to say hello in Europeans, Asians, or Americans. These are continents. Africa has more than 50 countries with a lot of underrated languages such as Swahili and Zulu. The irony in this comment. I just, I know the, the profile picture is censored, but under that profile picture, I really think it's just the nerd emoji. You know, I, I just think this guy is, is, is nerd, but in like the exact opposite way you would want to be nerd, you know? All I have ever wanted from a yogurt is to know who the cows are. The cows, Myrtle, Letty, Root, Irma, Fanny, Julia, Veronica, Padma, Lucy, and Quiet? I don't know. Notice how they named all the cows traditionally girl names. This is a deep connection between misogyny and consuming animals. Or, hear me out, it could be that only girl cows can produce dairy. Because that's kind of how that works, you know? Kind of how cows work. Y'all have grizzly bears in the UK too, right? I love that you think the UK has one ecosystem and the US has another. Hang on one second. Do you actually think the ecology in the UK is the same as in the US? Have you ever been anywhere outside of North America? Oh, you're just so illiterate. How quirky. Darwin was an Illuminati shill. His evolution theory is utter bullocks. It was designed to mislead you into thinking you are an insignificant random nothingness in endless eons of time. Whereas in fact, you are designed in the image of God and created to walk with him. No, <laughs> not true. Sorry. It's not true. It's not true. God didn't make you. It was science and evolution. You are dumb. Have a good day. Okay, yeah, they're definitely a troll. Um, they're actually. Uh, actually, no. There is singular, referring to one person, while they are is referring to multiple people, which in this case, I'm not talking about multiple people. No, there is a possessive word. T-H-E-I-R is a possessive word thing so if you were to comment on you know something they have like i like their phone case that's what that there's for you big dummy i hope you knowledge yourself a little bit more get a little intelligent when i was two my sister was twice my age now i'm 40 how old is my sister 
twice, two is four. So add four years to her current age. School system failed some. Yeah, it failed you because <laughs> if, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, twice your age when you were two is four. However, you will never not be two years apart. Therefore, if you are 40 and your sister was two years older than you when you were two, she's two years older now. So 42, you know, I may have dropped out of community college, but I'm still good at addition. It's 21, WTF is wrong with these people, haha. <laughs> what answer y'all get? Well, Pem does time, again. This is just, this is just Mason says Mason does math. And you guys are like, hey Mason, we kinda don't need you to do all this math. And at this point, love you guys, I really do. I really appreciate most of the warm welcomes. I know some of y'all don't like me all that much. That's okay, I don't like you either. But uh, this is more for me. <laughs> I'm just trying to, you know, I've been out of school for a long time, trying to see if I still got it, you know? So parentheses, eight minus five is three. Still in parentheses, then you do the multiplication of five and the three in the parentheses, which is 15, plus two would make it 17. <sighs> I did it, thank you. Of course glass bakeware exists, why wouldn't it? Why would you use a glass pan to bake bread? I don't think a glass pan even exists. Pans are made of metal. What, what? Glass everything exists. Glass doors, glass doorknobs, glass pans, glass pots, glass windows. It's all real. All of it's glass. My ex has a seven on his neck for our son who died to his heart condition. My son was six when he died. They insist he was seven. How do they insist their math is different and correct, lol? This is how they figured it. He was born in 1996 and died in 2003. Here is the math they failed at. His birthday is August 23rd. He died on March 9th. But, but he was one on 96, two on 97, three on 98. 4 on 99, 5 on 2000, 6 on 2001, 7 on 2002, so still 7 on 2003. Don't know where the mistake is. He's not 1 in the year he was born. If he was born in 1996, he's 0. Come on, person. Do the dang math. You're being laughed at really hard in the comments. Look at all those reactions. You deserve that. The fact that you think Spain ever had colonies or was imperialistic shows you are an imperialistic colonizer. <clears throat> None of these territories were colonies, moron. On Tumblr. You're being stupid on Tumblr? They were all colonies before they became countries, you freaking dummy. Oh my god, I'm getting a headache, guys. I'm gonna have to take my hair tie out. It is pulling too much on my head and giving me a headache. And uh, reading these is not helping. I'm a Celt myself, Irish specifically. My ancestry is from Munster County. Munster isn't a county, it's a province. You're gonna mansplain Ireland to me when I'm Irish? A man with an unwashed ass has an opinion again. I'm Irish, you're American. I'm pretty confident I know my country better than you, you absolute gowl. I also am Irish, but I don't know what the difference between a province and a county is. So, uh, count me out, I'm out of this convo. Cutting cheese with a knife? Barbarians. We in Scandinavia use this tool. That's why you're a country, not a nation. Bro, <laughs> that's so embarrassing. That's actually so embarrassing. Holy moly. The moon landing was faked apparently. Not sure how NASA could do it 50 years ago and act like it's still in development today. AKA, they couldn't land on the moon today with the current technology. Mm, none of that math adds up, buddy. Sorry, I, I mean, you're wrong. Absolutely wrong. When it's 20 below outside, what is solar gonna do for you? Absolutely nothing in December and January and February. The sun has no power. When will the government try to quit ramming this crap down everyone's throat? It doesn't work up here in the winter. I guarantee you the sun has power even when it's cold. I saw you live in North Dakota where the Air Force trained pilots because they get more sun in Fargo than in Kansas during the winter. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a breakdown. I'm gonna have a breakdown so bad. I'm trying so hard to stay positive. Someone called me out a few videos ago for being a negative Nancy, and I kind of feel like I'm doing it again today. But like, what am I, what am I supposed to say positively about these people who are just so, so incompetent, you know? Like, it's hard. I'm doing my best. Whoever that is that, that said I was, I was a negative Nancy. I'm sorry, I'm trying my best, but it's hard. Fat and sugar do not occur in nature. They are man-made products. The combination of which pe make people fat. Pure foods on their own are much more healthy and good against weight gain. Fat and sugar occur all over the place in nature. Honey is liquid sugar. Most fruits are relatively high in sugar. Coconuts are 30% fat and 5% sugar. All meats have some quantity of fat. Lots of meat have substantial quantities of fat. Not to mention, sugar, sugar cane, is a plant that you harvest. It comes from the ground. 
I remember when I was doing Hunger Games, nobody had ever put a woman in the lead of an action movie. Jennifer Lawrence says, We were told girls and boys can both identify with a male lead, but boys cannot identify with a female lead. Did Jennifer Lawrence say that she was the first ever lead woman in an action movie? Is she serious? It's not an animal. If you just want jumping spiders, you can go to an exotic pet show. Reptile shows and such have them, or buy them online. Not sure the exact kind, but you can reach out to a store and see what they have. What do you mean, not an animal? Spiders are obviously Dwemer constructs. Spiders aren't animals. They're arachnids. Arachnids are animals. They're in the kingdom Animalia, along with all other arthropods. Well, they aren't plants, fungi, or bacteria. They are animals, more specifically arthropods, even more specifically arachnids, most specifically spiders. Do they not teach this in elementary school? Like all of these creatures, insects, fish, mammals, we're all animals, man. If we're not a plant or a fungi or a bacteria, we're animals. You know, it's just like, it's, it's basic stuff. People are freaking idiots. My neighbor's kid just tried to tell me that bats are mammals. Mammals don't fly. We walk and are confined to the ground. No wonder my family in Sweden thinks Americans are dumb. Y'all truly need to educate your kids better. Bats are birds. It does not matter land, sea, or air. Mammals. You know, dolphins and whales are mammals and they're in the ocean. Birds, not mammals, because they lay eggs. Bats don't lay eggs. Bats give birth. They're mammals, you stupid. Melbourne is closer to Antarctica than it is to Darwin. Not if you use miles instead of kilometers, but point taken. What? Huh? What? My brain is not wrapping around this. Uh, I don't know. I give up. I give up. I've had enough. If gravity is real, then why doesn't the ocean go to the southern hemisphere? If gravity is not strong enough to stop a small stream from flowing to its lowest point, then what is stopping the oceans north of the equator from emptying into the ocean south of the equator? This is what the Earth would look like if we lived on a globe. Gravity is pseudoscience, a theory that can't be proven. It's because the center of gravity is not the bottom of the globe. It is the middle interior core of the globe. That's what, uh, that's what the center is. It all goes in, it all goes in, it all goes in. It doesn't go down, it goes in. With your logic, we would all be falling to Antarctica right now because the gravity would be pushing us to Antarctica. What gives, man? McDonald's ad with blatantly false statistics. Oh, sweet. Here's what free McDonald's for life looks like by the numbers. With free McDonald's for life, you could try every possible combination of dipping sauce 15 times. There are 343 unique combinations of sauce. Okay, six unique combinations of one, 180 unique combinations of two, 120 unique combinations of three, 30 unique combinations of four, 60 unique combinations of five, one unique combination of six. Okay, no, first of all, <laughs> not true. It's just simply wrong. I'm not gonna do the math to give you the actual number because I'm tired and my head hurts, but you're wrong. Planting extra trees is good, but extra carbon in the atmosphere is already producing more trees. The earth is greener than it has been in human existence because of how much carbon is in the atmosphere. Plants eat carbon. Titan boa, the biggest reptile ever that lived during the age of dinosaurs. Titan boa was a snake, not a reptile. Dinosaurs didn't exist. Go read the Bible instead of making a fool of yourself. Is this the same person saying the exact same thing? Dinosaurs didn't exist? Go read the Bible. Uh, if your argument leads to go read the Bible in order to prove a point of yours, I am going to immediately just stop arguing with you because you are just wrong and it's not worth arguing with you. Also, snakes are reptiles. It's, it, it is just facts. If they need a test dummy for the trip to Mars, please take me. They discovered the Earth was flat in like 1942. Who did? Some guys just discovered a giant bubble at the edge of Antarctica and decided, holy frick, God's real, we gotta hide this. How does that make sense? No, they tried sending rockets into space and realized, holy frick, the Earth is flat. They tried telling their comrades, but nobody wanted to believe them because it was their destiny to be Satanists and colonize space. You're a Satanist if you colonize space? What, what's the logic there, man? Holy moly, this is the Twitter blue logo. Guess they fired anyone whose passion is graphic design. As some of you know, I have a lay interest in right-wing iconography and style. This is right-wing design. This logo is from late 2021, before Musk made a bid for Twitter. Which body part maintains your balance? In which the answer is the ears. Your brain. How do deaf people keep balance if only their ears keep balance? Your brain takes in the environment and stimuli and reacts, creating balance. It's based on well more than your ears. It is not your ability to hear that gives balance. Hey buddy, that's what I said. 
Thank you for reiterating my point in less words and not establishing any point on the other side of the debate. Not only is gas a liquid, but all gases are fluids. Mistakes were made. Gasoline is a fluid. We call it gas even though it is not gas, and no, all gases are not fluids anymore than all fluids are solids. Please stop. Nah, he's right. Fluid in science refers to anything that can flow. This includes liquids, glasses, and plasmas. Lol. I'm sure y'all are the scientists who know these things. And are you? Are you a scientist? Person with a Jane Jetson profile picture? I'd love to know. Canadian Constitution doesn't have a Second Amendment or gun protection. We ask that all gun owners put this on their wall. The Supreme Court of Canada has affirmed that the right to keep and bear arms is a fundamental right of the individual. If you believe in the Second Amendment and you are not afraid to show it, repost this. I hope to see this reposted by a lot of my friends. Remember, if we outlaw guns, then only outlaws will have guns. Oh, my head hurts. Oh, it hurts so bad. A blind woman was told to get her effing dog off a bus by a passenger who didn't believe guide dogs could be any other color than yellow. Megan Taylor, 22, was on the bus with her guide dog, Rowley, when the unnamed woman approached her and said, why is there a freaking dog on the bus? Get it off. But when Megan tried to politely explain Rowley was an assistance dog, she claims the woman called her a liar because guide dogs are yellow Labradors and your dog is black. I'm sure that black dogs are not the only thing that is black that this woman has a problem with. I'm calling the, the unnamed woman racist. This person used 13,000 pennies to create this peng floor. Joke's on him because now he just wasted $13,000, SMH. Well, no, it, it's $130 because one penny is one cent and $13,000 is actually 1.3 million pennies. And that's not, that's not 13,000. Think of how stupid the average person is and realize half of them are stupider than that. George Carlin. That would be the median, not the average. The median is a type of average. I'm sorry to have to break this to you, but you're in the bottom half, my friend.